Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so happy you're here. Uh, today I am sharing a few things, including my top 10 favorite items right now. I know you will love them. I love them. I know many of you already probably have some of them. And so stay tuned for that. The next thing is I'm going on vacation. I'm going on a little trip on Monday. And so of course I'm thinking it's to be, it's to Dallas and the weather is going to be like 90 degrees and crazy hot. And so of course I'm thinking about what am I going to bring? What am I going to pack? And so I have a few things that I thought that I would share with you that I think you'll like as well. And then finally, I'm answering a few questions. I get asked questions all the time, and I've heard from many of you, it's one of your favorite things about the Saturday newsletter. So let's get started. Top 10 things I'm loving right now. So let me share with you what they are. And these are in no particular order, um, but these are worth sharing. I think, um, first of all, there is this gold clutch. It is by Rebecca Minkoff. It's $98. I, I was so inspired by Lisa Eichen. She is the she was at Moda Operandi and now she is the fashion director at Neiman Marcus. I love her style so so much. And she was just wearing the most simple outfit. It was a black blazer, faded blue jeans, and she had on a Bottega gold clutch, just really similar to this. And I'm telling you, I fell in love with it. I've even written about it on the blog. So this for $98, I just think it's a great pop of color. Um, and it goes really with everything. So that's item number one. The second item I thought I would share with you is two jewelry pieces, and I'm counting them as one thing. The first one is this little Brinker and Eliza bracelet. I've had it for probably three years, and lately I, I tend to wear it during the summer for some reason, but Brinker and Eliza is a mom-daughter um, duo, and they their website is fantastic. I highly recommend you check it out. They carry Brinker and Eliza at Neiman Marcus, Saks, and Shopbop, and they just make some really fun, playful um, pieces. I've been using a lot on the blog lately on style boards, and so I just can't say enough. I love this heart bracelet, but there are just so many pieces that um, it's just a more of what catches your eye. The next thing that I think is worth talking about is right now tennis necklaces are everywhere. And a website that I am obsessed with is called The Last. This I think it's called This Is The Last or The Last Line LA. And anyway, their jewelry designs are beautiful and their styling designs are, I don't know, they are just spot on. Um, and of course, I would love one of their tennis necklaces, but they're, you know, a little expensive. So when you go look at this site, well, either splurge for yourself or just get some style inspo. Um, but I was at Nordstrom in San Diego a while back and I found this Naudry. Um, it's called the Love All Tennis Necklace. It is adjustable, so you can have it be higher up or longer. And to me, I love a diamond layer mixed in with all of your gold. I just think it is the perfect way to update your jewelry stacks. So anyway, this is goes in and out of stock. If um, I will give you a link down below in the description, but I would not wait on this. Um, and I'm gonna say one other thing is, it is a little tricky to put on. And so um, I wore it like four days in a row, I didn't take it off because um, it does twist, but once you get it right, um, then it will just stay put. So anyway, so the next thing are these shoes. And these shoes, I saw, I saw them um, at the Legeant store in, uh, on Melrose Place. Le the Legeant store is, I've been there now twice on both trips, and it's probably one of my most favorite places. And when I first saw them, I was like, I don't know about that point. And then I saw Gwyneth, and she was on the front cover of Architectural Digest sharing her gorgeous home, and she had something really similar to these. And so that's when I knew I saw them on the Nordstrom website. Um, I, they're the perfect height. Um, I'm usually between a six and a half and a seven. These are size 37. This um, nude suede color, it just goes with everything and I've just been wearing them nonstop. They come in a few other colors, but to me, and I like all the colors, so it just depends what you're looking for, but I always think a neutral shoe just works with everything. Next is this J. Crew tiered dress. Uh, last year, it completely sold out. 
I wanted to get the black one. I ordered the wrong size, and so I'm so happy that this is back this year. Um, this is the white one. I don't know, it comes in a lot of colors. Personally, white is my number one choice, and black is my second choice. I find these run a little bit small, so I size down to an extra, extra small, and typically that is also not my size. I kind of vary between an extra small and small, so I'm sharing that just for sizing info. Um, but anyway, this dress is amazing, and I might as well talk about what's on the dress. This is not one of my top 10 items. I had to narrow it down, but it still kind of is in my top category. This Legence denim jacket, it is definitely a favorite. I love this Brisbane wash. I noticed a new wash on Nordstrom.com the other day that is a little bit lighter than this. I like that as well. And these super cool sunglasses, um, they have the little white trim and they are tortoise shell. And me and my Nordstrom 6 friends love these so much that we all three bought them. Uh, so anyway, these definitely are super cool. Okay, and speaking of dresses, this Norma Kamali, first of all, Norma Kamali is the hottest dress brand out there right now. There is the Diana gown. It comes a short and long version. I tried both of them. I've seen so many people on Instagram on that Diana in the wearing the Diana gown. Uh, the long was just too much fabric for me. Um, I probably could have had it hemmed, but I went with the shorter one and it is a one shoulder ruche dress. It's amazing. Norma Kamali right now is like on fire. Uh, but this dress is one that I just think is so cool. First of all, it's black. It's $125. That is such a great price. Um, I probably will never go out with just wearing it strapless. I will probably always wear something over it. So don't let that scare you away. You could wear a denim jacket over it. You could wear a leather jacket, a blazer. Like this is just such a cool piece and you could take it if you're traveling. You could even wear it with sneakers. Um, so this is a really great versatile piece. So Frame is one of my all-time denim favorite brands and I decided to try a new style of jean. I, I don't know, I tend towards all the same ones. They all have a little bit of stretch in them. But Frame, this is a brand new jean from Frame. It is called La Jane Crop. And I went to Nordstrom the other day and visited my friend Summer and she was telling me everybody that tried these on fell in love with them. And so both she and I purchased them. And I think it's worth noting I'm 5'1", so I had to have several inches taken off the bottom. I did it myself, um, super easy to cut and fray your own jeans and my friend summer is about 5'9 she also wore them of course she didn't need any alterations but why I love these first of all they are a newer fit they're definitely snug through the hips which I like um, and then they are a little bit fuller not too full at the bottom and these don't have a whole lot of stretch in them and they just they're soft and they just feel new and fresh um, I size down to a 25 I am never a size 25 and so normally I would be about a 26 or 27 and so anyway I did size down in these but I really really love them and then also just this simple little J. Crew tank look how cute this is it is um, just a crop tank top cotton it's slightly cut away it doesn't show any um, skin on the tummy which I like but it just feels like a new silhouette and I thought this blue color is so so pretty the Tom Ford Rose Prick body spray is an all-time favorite. I'm on my second bottle. It is light. It is not heavy on the rose, um, but it is just such a pretty fragrance. I wear it all year round, and I think you should give it a try. It is hands down one of my top fragrances that I love so, so much. Okay, finally, number 10 is J. Crew Swimwear. I just think they do an amazing job. If you want a solid swimsuit, this, look how pretty this is. It's a ruched one shoulder. So often you can find them on sale. I just think their styling is up to date. Um, this pretty blueprint I just picked up. I'm going on vacation, as I mentioned, and so I'm bringing both of these swimsuits. I just like a simple white shirt cover-up, mainly because it goes with everything. To me, it always looks elegant. And so this is my number 10 J. Crew swimwear. You just can't go wrong. 
Okay, let's talk travel. Uh, I think so many of us are going on vacation. I get asked about these things all the time. And so let me share with you a few things that are over the top amazing. And I'm gonna start with these packing cubes. Okay, these are happen to be by Cowpack in the rose gold, gold color. But honestly, you can pick them up at Amazon. It does not matter what you, um, the price. Just finding this has one, two, three, four, five, I believe it came with five or six of these pouches, but people ask me, either you have them and you love them and so you can skip forward, um, but if you don't have these, I like, I like to say in my blog, run, go get them. You will be so happy they keep you organized. Um, I do have people that love them and then some people go, I don't even get what is the big deal with packing crew cubes. Well, first of all, I love them so much. Everyone in my family has them. Uh, but why I love them is it really, first of all, it you would be surprised how much you can get into all of these. And so your suitcase just is organized. And I'm not really an organized packer. And so before my suitcase used to open it up and there's just stuff everywhere. Well, now you open it up and you just see like six or seven of these, um, packing cubes full and it just it's neat and tidy so usually I put my bras and panties and pajamas in one I will do um, sometimes if I don't have enough room I will separate out my jeans because they don't need to be in one but I put you know jackets and blouses anyway this I just can't say enough good things packing cubes just help you stay organized and they are definitely a top packing tip Let's just talk this beast bag. This might be one of the top items that I have sold on the blog. Um, and it comes in two sizes and it comes in several colors, but it comes in two sizes. This is the larger size and it comes down a size. Uh, this one's $98 and the other one is $88. And let's see, let me count the reasons why I love this bag so much. Okay, and I'll share with you some pros and cons. So first of all, you it's shocking how much fits in here. It kind of opens up to a square like this. Um, and then it also has this hard case down below that you can zip, unzip, and you, I tend to put my cosmetics, but it's meant for shoes. Um, so you would be surprised you can get so much in this bag. So here's the downside. If you pack it really full, it's heavy. And so if you're going on a car trip and you're going away for the weekend, it is absolutely perfect. That's why it's probably called the weekender bag. If you are going on a flight and you want to take it um, as a carry-on, the only way I recommend it um, is if you do a wheeled carry-on that is the spinner kind. Because when you go, first of all, you hook it on like this. So you hook it on this, um, the handle. And so then when you are traveling, if you have the kind where, where your suitcase only has two wheels and you're tilting it, it is too heavy. So you have to have it on a four-way spinner. The other thing, and I've tried it, I have taken this through the airport and it is really almost too heavy for me. And um, so I don't recommend doing that. Uh, the other thing is this does fit under the seat, but the trick is you cannot overpack it. And so I um, called it my handbag, my personal belonging. And so I did pack my handbag inside, but I only made sure to pack it about to here. And so then that way it squishes and you can get it under the seat. Of course, it fits beautifully up above, but I am pretty sure you're not allowed to have a carry-on and this up above. So that is um, one of, the, these are probably my two favorite items. I recently purchased this Monos, um, I think that's how you say it, uh, suitcase from Nordstrom. It is a hard case. And why I like it, first of all, I like having a non-black bag. So when I go to baggage claim, I can easily spot my bag. Um, and so this one is just a perfect, uh, it doesn't uh, hold a ton, but it is the perfect carry-on bag. But again, um, I have several others that I like as well. Okay, so this is this cool sunglass holder. And I just bought it from Amazon and it looks like this. And I'm hoping now that I see how small these are, I actually 
Let me just try. Um, I hadn't really put my sunglasses in. I'm assuming it's going to fit. Yes, it's going to fit. Um, and so I can't say enough great things about this. Um, I love sunglasses. I think they make every outfit. And so this will fit five sunglasses. And I believe this was $12. And so I highly recommend this. Um, and then the other thing I love, this I don't have it to show you, but right now when it comes to packing your cosmetics, Nordstrom, if you go on Nordstrom.com and you type in travel minis, uh, the last time I checked how many was there, maybe like 500, you can buy so many of your makeup things in smaller uh, sizes. So I love the Giorgio Armani Ar um, Luminous Silk Foundation. It comes in a small size. I try and take my eye makeup remover and other favorite things. I'm sure you will find some of the things, hairspray, um, shampoo, all sorts of things. So that is one of my favorite tips. And then of course, there's the travel outfit. And I, if you followed me for a long time, uh, the Viore jogger is something that I've worn on so many trips. But since I'm going to Dallas this week and it's gonna be like 100 degrees when I get there, I haven't decided if I'm gonna wear the Viore jogger or not. But you can see here is a style board that we are sharing with you for style inspo. And I just think it's fun to look stylish and put together when you are traveling. I just think you feel better. I feel better. Uh, sometimes, I guess, if you're going to Europe, maybe you don't care so much when you get to the other end. You just want to be comfy. But um, on shorter flights, I like to look a little bit more put together. So that is my travel little fun style tips. You can see more travel inspo on my website at sosusiewright.com. I try and share when I go to super cute hotels. I tend to like the smaller boutique hotels. And so definitely check out the website. Okay, now for a few questions. Um, I love getting questions, and uh, it seems to be a section that many of you like that's on the blog, and so today I thought I would answer a few in person. Um, so the first one that came in is, why are you no longer working for Nordstrom, and did you like your job? And that is a great question. I worked for Nordstrom for over 25 years. I held various jobs um, as a buyer for close to a decade and a stylist for over a decade, and I loved it. Um, Nordstrom was definitely the perfect environment and place for me. I learned so much. I um, am still really this whole kind of um, route that I'm on as far as the blog So Susie and this YouTube. It's really taking everything I've learned from being a buyer um, to helping women one-on-one -on -one in the dressing room. It's really helped me write and um, be able to kind of create this, this space for um, myself and for all of you. Um, so why did I leave? Um, I knew that this blog was taking so much time and I loved it and it, I knew probably I was going to leave mainly because um, I'm able to help so many more people doing this and so COVID just gave that little extra bump. Um, we shut down in March and I did go back for, I don't know, a week um, in June and July and then it was right before the anniversary sale and I just decided, nope, I can't do this. And so now I have, I feel like I have a lot more creative freedom because of course I love Nordstrom and so it's always the first place I look and I probably um, tend to uh, share probably, I don't know, 75% is still to Nordstrom. But I also have freedom to talk about J. Crew things and talk about anthropology things and uh, Gucci. And so I just have so much more creative freedom right now. And so that is why I left. But I, of course, am still involved with my Nordstrom Six friends. And I do write um, some blog posts from time to time that are sponsored by Nordstrom. So I definitely have my fingers still in the pot at Nordstrom. Um, someone else asked me, what would you wear over a slip dress for a gala event? 
and I love a, a slip dress and to me I could not think of a better option I would I think a gorgeous um, blazer maybe you could do all black if you did a black slip dress and a black blazer or possibly a, a ivory one that's just so elegant and then grab add a pair of like party shoes right now embellished beautiful shoes are everywhere from the brand is it mock and mock um, you'll have to tell me if I'm saying that correctly uh, and anyway there are just so many versions of it. beautiful shoes and just use the opportunity to find just the most beautiful accessories that you love some cool pouch or a bag um, I wouldn't go too much but if I did a, an embellished shoe and maybe a really cool bag then I might stick to probably just an earring um, but anyway that is one way that I would take um, a slip dress to a gala event Someone said they bought the white dress, and I'm assuming they're referring to the uh, J. Crew tiered dress, and they want to know what panties that you would wear underneath it. Someone told me they thought it was too sheer. I didn't notice that. I wore mine all summer long. Um, so I probably would tend to wear just a, a cotton panty. Two of my, or one of my favorites is the Chantel Soft Stretch. Um, believe it or not, it is a one size fits all and it comes all, you know, bikini, a higher rise, but you can see them on Nordstrom.com if you type in Chantel Soft Stretch. Um, that is definitely a top selling panty in the lingerie department and um, I love that. Another option that I would do is the walk hole body base short. It is, um, I would call it smoothing. It's not over, it's not like a Spanx, but it, it's kind of, it's just a little less kind of, um, what's the word, a less compressing, I guess I want to say. So it's a little bit more comfortable for an everyday option. So those would be my two panties that I would recommend under a dress. That's all I have for today. Thank you so, so much for joining in. If you have any suggestions, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram, write me an email, leave me a comment on this YouTube video, and stay tuned because I am going to try and upload a new video every week, and I'm excited to be here. So thank you, thank you for following along.